If I have a more comprehensive session where I'm doing more than dialogue work, what I might want to do is create new tracks for not only dialogue, but also sound effects and music to cover all the three stems in post-production. The other thing I might want to do is I might want to create bus masters for each one of those stems. So in other words, have a dialogue bus where I can turn up and down all the tracks together if I want to. To do that, first I'm going to create a bus for my dialogue tracks. What I'm going to do is click the top dialogue track name and then I'm going to shift click the last dialogue track. That's going to highlight everything in between. The next thing I want to do is I want to hover my mouse over this little area here and what this says is that this is my edit window view selector. So this will allow me to see my inputs and outputs among other things if I want. So I'm going to click this down arrow and I'm going to go to the IO setup and then I'll just click anywhere else to close that window. And now I can see that all of these tracks are going to the stereo monitor. If I hold down the option key, then I can highlight all the tracks at once. The option key will allow me to do the same thing to all tracks. I want to take all of these outputs and I want to create a new track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down option and then click the output and then I'm going to go down to new track. So this is a different type of track that I want to create here. In this case, I want it to be stereo because I might be panning my voices if I feel like having some on the left, some on the right and some on the center. This, I don't want to be an audio track. Instead, I want it to be an aux input. I'm going to label this dialogue bus. Then hit create. Then the next thing you'll notice is that it created this thing called a dialogue bus. And if I look at each one of these dialogue tracks, now all of the outputs, which are in the lower position here, are now feeding into this input of the dialog bus. So I'm going to hold down the option key again and I'm going to deselect everything. I'm going to take this and move it down to the bottom so it's easier to see. I can see that the outputs are all going to the dialog bus and then the dialog bus has the input taking the information from these tracks here. Another problem with creating a bus like this is let's say I had something on this track and I solo this. One thing you'll notice is all of these other ones get muted. Also the dialogue bus gets muted as well. So what that means is that signal won't pass through this unless I solo that as well. Not the best plan. I want to turn off the solo or do something called a solo isolate on this one. And I do that by command clicking the solo button on just the dialog bus. So now you'll notice that this mute button no longer goes on when I solo this. Then I lather, rinse, repeat here. I want to create some new tracks. So I can go up to track again and go to new track. Or I can hit command shift N. And this time I am going to create two music tracks and I want these to be stereo so I can either pull down this menu here or I can hit command left and right arrow and it will change the the track width. I want these to be audio tracks in this case and I'm going to do the same thing I did before in the last video. When I created my dialogue tracks I'm going to type in music underscore and then leave it blank after that and then I'm going to hit create and then I have two new music tracks. I'm in a different position now. If I want to not highlight these, I don't want to change the output of those. Instead, I want to change the output of just these ones here. What I would do instead is I would hold down option, but I would also hold down shift. And what that does is it's called a do to selected. When I am selecting tracks, what I'll do if I want to highlight a bunch of tracks, when I'm selecting tracks, if I, if I click the top nameplate and I shift click the bottom nameplate, then it's going to highlight everything in between. Shift is called your selection modifier. If I have these two selected, 
and I want to do to selected, then what I would do is I would hold the selection modifier and the do to all modifier, and then it would do to select it. So I'd hold down option and shift, and then click on the output, go to new track. I would create an aux input, and I would call this music bus. In electronics, they actually use two S's, but I'm just gonna keep it the way that Pro Tools does it. So I'm gonna solo isolate that one. And then I am going to do four stereo tracks for this and command shift N, make them be stereo, make them be audio tracks. I can tab over to here so I can make it be four tracks. Then I can tab over to the name and I can call this effects underscore. And I can hit create or I can just hit return. So now I have these selected. I can do my do to select it again. I can hold down option and shift, then click the output, create a new track, and then create a new effects bus. Oops. And then I'm gonna hold down option to deselect everything because remember option does the same thing to everything. I will slide this down. I will solo isolate it. The other thing I might wanna do is create a two pop track. So I'm gonna create a new track. I'm gonna make it be stereo and I am going to retitle the track, call it two pop. 